What's up everybody? Welcome back here to the second episode here on Drift 21. Today we are going to buy our first car and build an engine from scratch because you know there's some cool things that you can actually do in this game because you got to put everything together and make sure it all works right. I've over here got some wheels, pre-mounted some tires with the uh, tire machine, the balancers over there. So we're going to build a car here for today, but we got to buy a car first. So let's see what cars we can buy. We have an S15, a BRZ, and an MX-5. We're going to buy that S15. Can we buy it in blue? Yes. Is it going to come in blue? Oh, no. I, I, oh, yeah. There we go. Stock S15, it looks like. Looks like we got it completely stripped out from stock. It is now in drift mode. So we got a full cage in there. We got a lot of empty parts we got to put in this car. We got these wheels on there, which we're going to mount some other wheels on there, but we're going to have to take those off. But first, well, we got to start building the engine. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all of which are found in the description box below. Let's get to building. So <laughs> See what all we can do. So we got to build an engine for this car because we do not have an engine in there. So we can do E, which is like the missing parts, and it says we're missing an engine block. Well, obviously. So we're gonna do that over here on the engine stand. Go to the warehouse, and we got all these parts. So we can buy a complete engine, or we can just buy engine parts. As you can see, everything you need to put an engine together. You know fuel rails, head gaskets, valve covers, turbo manifolds, spark plugs you even got to put in. So we're going to have to make sure we put everything in. Pistons, forged, not forged. So we're going to be doing a fully forged build I feel. So we got to start off with an engine block. So I think we're going to go with the straight six. Straight six engine block. Yep, yep. All right, we're gonna go with the straight six. We're gonna purchase that. Yep. We got to Okay, that would have hurt if we actually dropped it on our toe. Mount that straight six engine block in there. So next thing, so we can do E and shows us a bunch of missing parts. So, but we gotta, we gotta put some, uh, we gotta put some parts in this car. So, should rotate the engine over. And I feel like we need to drop in some stuff and build the engine because we know that this is going to happen. We could probably just buy all the parts and then put them all, you know, lying around and then pick them all up rather than having to go back through this catalog. So I think we're going to put, we are going to put forged pistons in this thing, but we can't put them in yet. So we're going to... I wouldn't drop your piston on the ground. I mean, oh, come on, go on the table. All right, we'll just put that piston on the ground. So we are gonna use the E function just to uh, better assist ourselves here. Cause you know, it tells us to do certain things in certain orders. Mm, forge crank, yep, forge crank. And it's telling us to put in the crank mounts can't definitely can't forget those we gotta do all of these so this is where it gets very time consuming if you're building a complete engine but why not we got that 15 and we need to put a full engine in this car so we're just gonna put all these pieces in and then we also gotta put pistons and everything in there so let's just uh do the due diligence of putting these parts on. If you guys want to keep seeing this all here on the channel, let me know down in the comment section and down below. Doing a full series on this today. I think we're just going to pretty much get the... Oh, come on. If I don't keep dropping these parts, get this engine built and then in the car hopefully for today. Let's 
put some uh, let's put some pistons in there. We're gonna put forge pistons in there. So I do have one still sitting on the table. So we gotta remember that. So we will do this, and it will not let you run the car if you obviously don't have all the right parts in it. Let's go grab that one that we had on the table. There we go. Move over. It's almost like car mechanic simulator. Let's rotate this back around. Let's put the lower oil pan on. There we go. All right. So now we got all that completely pretty much buttoned up on the bottom side. So we're going to rotate the engine over. And then we're going to go on the back side. At least we don't have to put every single bolt on. We're going to go to the sport flywheel. Sport flywheel. This motor is just going to go all out. Why not drop the clutch disc? We're going to go all out with this because money is free and is not an option right now for us. All right. So let us throw a performance head gasket on. We don't want to blow a head gasket. Although, can we blow a head gasket? I'm curious. Let's go put this performance one down on the table. Let us put a standard head gasket in and be a stupid person and you know put a standard head gasket in in a big built engine we're gonna put a forced head on there we go all right what else are we looking at we're looking at a lot of stuff what, is, what do we got going on here oh is that a we kind of need a starter oh, come on gotta keep dropping these parts you definitely need a starter Nothing on the bottom side, so we're good on that. All right. Let's button up the top half of the engine, shall we? Let's just rotate this. No, I wanted it to go the other way. All right, I guess we're going to have to rotate it all the way around. Doop. It's, uh... Oh. Can't forget spark plugs. Um... Standard. Ah, okay. We're going to put high-end spark plugs in there. Got the flow of uh, doing this real quick now. Let's put some forged cams in there. For another forged cam on the other side. Oh, man. Ignition coil. Man, they make you do everything. So you can buy the, the you know, the factory, the pre-built motors like we did in the other one. But then you won't have as much power. So let's... Oh, man. So it's good just to click, enter, enter, click. Make this super quick. As fast as we can. Hopefully we're not missing anything. You know, working on cars, I kind of do know how to put an engine together. So, if this doesn't work, I will be very sad. We dropped one. I'm going to pick that back. Come back up here. There we go. Ooh, now we can put valve covers on? Yes. I'm going to put a blue one on. Yeah, of course. Make it look pretty. All right. So, the engine is slowly coming together here for us. So what is this? Oh, you know we're gonna put a turbo manifold on here. What are we? Uh, water pump? Yes. Turbo manifold. We gotta get. We gotta get whatever that is. Oil filter housing. We need that. We need that. And then we're going to go with the turbo pipe, wastegate on the floor, as always. Nope. Come on. And then we got to do alternator. This is a coolant pipe, and we're putting this in the S15, so we got to make sure we put, we make sure we got to select the S15. And put that in there. So so far looking good. So far everything on the understand 
somewhat going well. Upper radiator hose for an S15. Go front plate. Now we got gear cover. Ooh, basic performance sport. Hmm, we're gonna go high end. Building is all high end, but of course, if you remember, we did put a standard head gasket in this car, so we're going to see if the head gasket fails. Oh my gosh, if I would stop dropping these parts on the ground. Timing belt. Oh, timing cover. We got to cover it up. All right, fine. Timing cover. Come on this side. What do we got? Got the belt tensioner, crank pulley, power steering pump, definitely necessary, and drive belt, definitely an oil filter. What do we got here? We got performance intakes, intakes basic, or we have trumpets. We're going to go with the performance intake. Yes. Gonna do some fuel rails, what basic fuel rail, fuel rail performance, fuel rail sport, high end fuel rail. Hopefully it'll allow us to do all this. What is this? Blow off pipe. Yes. You know we're gonna have a blow off valve on this thing. Oh yeah. So it looks like we have all the parts that we need to drop this into the 15. So let's go up to the engine and click it down the engine move to S15 yeah oh we're good now so we're gonna hit E what are we missing of course we're missing the big intercooler and then we're missing the charge pipe and then this charge pipe and then we're missing the turbo. So I think we're going to go with a type 4. No, nah, we're going to go big boost. Type 5 turbo. Filter pipe. Go with the biggest air filter we can. Got to get the we're going to put a strap brace on. So now, so we got all of that in there. We got a lot of stuff under we have to get on. So let's get the interior bits in first because we know we have to put seats in this car. Otherwise, we're not going anywhere. So we're just going to put a universal uh, universal black seat in there on the passenger side. And then, yeah, we'll just do universal seats right now. No big deal. Nothing super extravagant. Nice big handbrake lever. No, not that one. St just a little standard shift knob. Wish they had like an NRG wheel in here. That'd be sweet. All right, and the wheel. Okay, so we get all that together. That closed very slow. All right, so now we got to get it onto the lift because I know we got some other parts we got to put in this car underneath. So let's move car to lift. Open up. Look at that beautiful engine. Hopefully that head gasket doesn't blow. Put this thing up in the air. Oh yeah, we definitely missing some parts here. We gotta do a. We're gonna do a normal transmission, standard gear, exhaust pipe, exhaust pipe rear. But we do have stock diff. It looks like. Throwing this exhaust on is this Tomei? No, it's not Tomei exhaust, but exhaust nonetheless. So it looks like we got all that in there, all that in there. So, are we good to rip it? We're gonna take these wheels off though. We're gonna put those other wheels on that I uh, mounted a little bit ago. Take these wheels off. I don't need these wheels. We're going to put the other ones on. I'm doing this way over my head. I wouldn't be doing this over my head in real life. 
That is for sure. So then we're gonna go clean up. Oh no, it got run out of the wheels. Oh no. She was like, you got rid of the wheels. Why'd you get rid of the wheels? Oh no. That's unfortunate that we kind of messed up our wheels. So now we're gonna have to mount some new wheels. I feel like I wish it had a saved area where it like saved my stuff that I had pre-assembled because that would have been sweet because now we're gonna have to remount some wheels well that's unfortunate because there's no place that they're just in storage right uh, well, we're going to have to mount some wheels. So I think that will do it here for this episode. We're going to have to mount some wheels. We did get the engine and everything in. So we are going to mount some wheels up, get some tires mounted, and then we're going to see if this thing blows up. Take it to the dyno in the next episode. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All of which are found in the description box below. And as always, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.